You know how that go. Probably not on YouTube as much, but. That's what's up, man. YouTube up. Uh, <laughs> He's like, that's cute. It. Look, that's, that's, we push a piece, though, so it's, so it's great that y'all can sit down there. Talk you feel me? Kicking it. So you support the pushing of the piece? Yeah, I mean, I'm all for the pushing of the piece, you feel me? You know, but it's always people that go against, like, whatever you with. Like, somebody, like, it's everybody got people that oppose to what, what they feel and what they got going on. Uh, we pushing pieces. It's, it's people that's gonna jump out there on some, and f y'all in y'all pushing peace like disrespect us and threaten us and us. Why we just really sitting here trying to push peace? On? Well, I'm the type to feel like yeah we pushing peace, on, but you still gotta be on the lookout for those type of people. Like, well, I feel like people in Chicago, it's more like we're pushing peace, except the dudes we're really into it with. Yeah, cause if we come, <laughs> cause look. When 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 we, when when it all started and we we opened the door for it, it was open. Mm. You feel me? Like if you ain't take it, it, it was only that, that's what y'all on. Like what what? We ain't begging nobody to be like cease fire or nothing. Like we ain't even on that. Like we on some man. We got kids. I got kids. I got a daughter now, and we got kids now. Like you feel me? We grew up like this. It's, it, we product of our environment. Like ain't nobody that's really with me. Everybody with me been with me since I was a little kid right now. Everybody you seen mm -hmm. today that's with me. And ain't none of them, like, chasing that image. Like, this just, this grew up like this. This is what it, it's what it was. Like, we ain't wishing for the for the violence and praying for, hoping for it and all that. Like, growing up where we grew up at, it is what it is. Like, it, it fell in love. with this. Came with just being where we at for real though, like low key, like growing up in the schools we was in, like the type of the type of people that's five, ten years older than us that we seeing doing what they doing and surviving out here, like because it's really survival, like we trying to live, but we ain't living yet. We surviving still, you feel me? Hmm. So that's by people when we when we come on some like because we done done enough, like, we ain't no pushovers or nothing, like but we ain't. Ain't nobody standing next to me gonna just let you push them. It's, it's like that with us. So See, like, that that's the other problem with this, like, new push and peace mentality is that, like, dudes might want to push peace, but only after they've gotten to a point where they feel like they're respected for being willing. Because we all know that the way that the social hierarchy works out for dudes in the street, dudes in prison, et cetera, is basically the dude who's willing to be the most violent is basically going to be at the top of the totem pole in terms of who's got control over everybody else at the end of the day. You could try to yeah. avoid that, but that's the nature of how people who are willing to engage in violence basically end up arranging themselves in society. Yeah, for sure that. I agree with you, but at the same time, though, it's like... Every fight, everything play a factor, everything play a role in it, like, at the same time, like, because, you feel me? Shit gonna be what it be, like, whether your parents, even, like, where we from? A lot of us got good parents and everything, like, you feel me? Like, our parents want no pushovers either, like, you feel me? We see bro mama, we see bro OG, and she she got a lot, to, she, she, you feel me? The aggressive type parent, like, the, you feel me? Like, she might... Say something you ain't expect her to say to you, you feel me? You sitting there like, damn, but this bro mama, so this bro OG, so I, right, you feel me? Like, but great parents, though, you feel me? Strong parents, mm. but you still, like, where I'm from, you gotta see the stand on your feet or you gonna fall off of them, you feel me? Like, but, 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 but I don't feel like it came from, like, like, cause look, we, we, we was known where we from and shit, like, as these types are already like like it took a minute for people to because everything happened growing up it people no seeing like it really want no hope yeah people was people already, already yeah it was it was it was, gonna it was be that way. you feel me we, we from like this project what it ain't even like it's a little box you feel me like and in the middle it's a pot it's some potholes i mean some uh flower pots mm -hmm. you feel me? it's like when you step in there it's like a lot of dust and sand the, the grass sandy and it's dirty and it's like like, not all the time, like, you feel me? The weather might hit this and the people might, you feel me, the city might hit this or something, but this, this like, just like back in the projects, 
how it was, like a small little piece of that right here on the low end, like still right here, like and we grew up in this whole little vicinity around it, like and it's just that treacherous, like you feel me, bro. Them as soon as you come was, out your door, you in the hood already, like yeah, yeah like. So. Mm. But it's it's survival, like I said. So was there a chance of you being a good kid, or was it like shit was so crazy from such a young age mm -hmm. that it's like hard to even imagine that? Look, it's like this. Some of us, some of us, like we this what we this what we grew up at, and it's what it is, and it's how it end up being. But some of us had a chance, like he hoop, but he slipped. Probably like first pipe case. Shit, I already knew what I wanted to be. Shit, hooping was just some shit that. But you had a chance. Like he's saying, like you had a, yeah. you had a chance at one point though. You feel me? like you could have? Cause look, if if he didn't ever slip on catching like a case, a certain case that took all that out the agenda, like man, like ain't no ain't no chance of that. He would have been. He he was so cold on his feet and playing. He would have been. You can't help it. You feel me? How it's just like being a rapper, low key. You feel me? You hooping hot from the hood. That's one of them dreams. Like he would have been uh, playing in the hooping, doing his thing under that clock. Still to this day, right now, if he ain't never slipped in the streets one time. But like he said, when you step out your mama crib and that's the streets, it's what you bound. You you bound. You bound to either drown or you gonna swim. Like you feel me? Well, ain't nothing else doing no drowning. And it's so early for us though. It had, we we had to be swimming. You feel me? So us pushing the piece now. We don't want people looking like. Oh, they like they sweet enough. Y'all know it ain't. We know people ain't looking at us like that. Like, see, like we ain't even thinking like, like we. Ain't, it ain't that we really. We really got like I say. I got a daughter. My little sister just started college. She despises my music for real. You know, like, mm -hmm. you no, know, like, real preppy type. Real all A. She get an A minus. She gonna ha have a fit. You feel me? Real like that type of little kid. You feel me? Like. I just started college, like she dropping her location to my phone so I can see the campus. I'm random, nice looking, see what she on. Uh, and she knows that you make crazy ass drill music, and she hates it. See, we grew up in the look. So for everybody who don't know who we got in the building, tell them who we got. <laughs> right, we got a, Late uh, introduction. We got it kind of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you keep saying where you from, but I don't think they really know. I'm like, all right, so. Yeah, man, I'm, it's hard body load ox, you mean? And who you got? 4340. Breakfast, shawty. It's my big brother. And I'm out. Yeah. And I'm outside. We Before the interview started, we was out there kicking and chopping it up. It's like yeah. a couple people out there, and everybody out there from Welch. Welch World, right? Yeah, we all Welch World. All right, and then, all right, so Welch was, who was Welch to y'all? Uh, big brother. Yeah, I just wanted to, bro, one of the, feel like, one of them Perry people that. One of them people, one of them, one of them generations in our hood that kicked off what we really like stand for, <clears throat> like solidarity as a family. Like you know, like he was one of them. Like, like it's, if 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 it's twenty of them coming towards us, about ten of us, man, don't run, man, stand strong on his own. Like he was the one in the front. Like, like people running, we get back to the hood or something. He was the one. What's up with that? Feeling some way and t and trying to either like we're gonna talk about it or what or whatever come with that like Welch was one of them stand up members a hundred percent you feel me like you no know? yeah to the YouTube crowd the Welch world thing became like basically synonymous with Tay Savage because he's had all these crazy ass YouTube documentaries about him telling the story about how close they were before he lost his life and everything where were you during those years and the, those early years, like all together. Oh man, like see, like early on, <clears throat> on the low end, you had you had select few people. You had a select kind of like people play with guns, right? Like it was like was at a certain level in the streets where the John Wick level. I mean, it, it wasn't even really like you know super super hectic. Like you know we was we was we was able to walk from the store to the park to this park. The back of the school, kick it. Like it was times where me, him, couple of them out there that's out there right now, like one of us would be like not trying to go in the crib. Like just wanna be with the with the guys. Like so all of us, like he he hiding from OG and them and everything. We all in the back of the school, like all night with him. Like just are we safe, we good, we in the hood, we good, he with us. Like we finna just all be out here, like we good. Feel me like 24s, pulling 24s. That's what pulling 24s is with the guys, like, 
Like it was safe back then. Like so, all the gunplay and all that. Like we weren't worried about. We was in the way, but like it, right now, you know, it's like thirty guns around and like all like to protect the situation. If we having a party on the block or something, they gonna have like like that's a normal hood thing now. Like it's gonna probably be a lot of people out here carrying a gun or something go down or something like. Back then, there wasn't a lot of guns around there. We were safe kids running around. Through. So, like, you feel me? We was, we was, we was cool. Like, you feel me? Like, we, we, we was the, we was the kids in the hood. Well, like, right up under Tate and them. Well, like, see, I'm, a, I'm, him and my big brother, they best friends. Two years, three years older than me. So, like, Tatum. they got a crowd. Then it's like Tay, like, right there up in they crowd. Like, you know. And feel me, they slight older, feel me, but they that's that's the crowd. Like it's videos of him on YouTube right now called and on, on, on like uh D uh, D Games, Worm mm-hmm. TV. They they on in the hood just chilling, Welch talking, feel me, like talking this shit. Just yeah, we we out here, woo woo. So I see forty of boys, we real, feel me, we right here on the hood. He walk up, he yeah man, we out here man. I might. I look like I'm off that shit. Oh, I ain't off that shit. We was, we was just shorties. It wasn't, but it wasn't a lot going on. Like, you know, it wasn't super deadly, like, you know, back then. Like, what happened to Wells really made it like that. You feel where we from? Like, you know, like, we, we was the aggressive kids that's, we ain't as deep as y'all. But most of the time, they be running from us. You feel me? Like, my hands be running from us. Like, it'd probably be like six of us. Like, and we ain't even known that. See us, think it's sweet. Now we, what? He getting it on with niggas. like and most of these niggas be sweet for real. So we grew up in that in that square I told you, like, so we ain't you no know, sweet. Like, yeah. We ain't have a real we project. Sweet, you like, feel we me? had a real project, but it wasn't like everybody else project was bigger than ours, but we had like we just had real members, like you feel But in that era, era I was I, look, I was deaf from the start though, you feel me? Like So this is the so icy era. This yeah, when y'all was I've rapping. Been there, yeah. I've been I've been I've been there from the start of all the me start rapping and shit probably show my appearance or whatever with, with a lot of the social media shit over, you know, but I ain't, you feel me, like, I ain't no new nigga no way, like, you know, every part of this shit, every... Shit, family you know, oriented. Yeah, it ain't no gang shit, like, you know, like, like, literally ain't no, uh, you you could get recruited and be with us and now you good. You can, we not a gang. We not, like, the sign we throw up... It's my brother's name that died. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know? Yeah. Like, we really, we really knowing each other from Pampers and up. We had a church in our little square that I'm talking about. It was a church right on the corner, like, down the street, that everybody in our generation from my age to his age, which was two years older right now, then Tatum age, which a year or two older from that. I mean, everybody was in that building from, from when the school bill let out. To probably like nighttime, a look close before nighttime or something. Yeah, yeah. Like all together, like the whole neighborhood. You feel me? Like, and we grew up under priests and church. I mean, the church. You feel me? Grew up under the church. Like, you know, like why? Why this got to be? What this ain't no gang? You know, like it's it's. And everybody was in grammar school together. Because hmm. in LA, you know in LA, you could there. you could be from a certain gang and like you actually are not from there at all, but maybe at a certain age because of some friendships or some relationship or family, whatever, you're all of a sudden from that place. Yeah, that's, and like that's, everybody in LA knows that from doesn't mean the same thing that it means to certain people. Yes, yeah, where, we, where we from is like, I got cousins that's that's like, like that that, they, that grew up on what we, what we would consider the other side, you feel me? And, Nah, like just cause you my family don't like it's a, it's like it's a line in the, in the sand in the streets for us. So there's some rules like, you know like, cause I got, I got family that, that ain't never seen nothing about none of this shit, but grew up in this shit though. You feel me? Like, grew up in the slums of the of, of the rack, so they know what it is out here. They keep their head down there. Be civilian like type people, you feel me? Cause they ain't that ain't the life they chasing. But I be in my head though, like you feel me? Like it's it's squares it's everywhere that are. Oh yeah, since your cousin from over here, God, that's lame shit for real. Like not saying that the people in LA how they shit set up is lame. I'm just saying like where I'm from, like if you hang with check it out, like, like, like you feel if you, you hang on, with it's you gonna it's no, that's gonna, what it is. But they gonna put my y'all people together. ain't hanging in that shit or nothing like that. Like if you hanging with it. That shit don't count for what you're talking about. If you hanging with them, 
you know what they got going on. You know, like yeah. why is you why is you in the danger zones in in what's going on with people that's living that dangerous life? Cause if I'm living that dangerous life and I pull up in that danger zone where it's safe, where we supposed to be going to look for for the enemy to do this, and then he, and I see him with whoever standing there, like I'm in that danger zone and this was. Cause now you see me and I change my mind. Oh, you, you with her you or him? You lucky? And I turn off. Now you shoot me or something? What? What? Ah, uh, you feel me? Like, but that's a different story though. You feel me? For sure. For sure. So y'all was really the first one to uh, pop off with D Gaines and shit. Cause D Gaines, he like he been he been moving around for a minute. I have a legendary <laughs> D Gaines interview for the people out there who want to get educated. He's a very important figure in the the he drill movement. He's like the first first on um, yeah. camera master. Really, yeah, like, he he the, made this shit to get like, hot. Like, yeah, he had he had a lot of brothers pushing that 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 that, that drive for that for that camera like that. You feel me? He got a brother right now who shoot my videos. You feel me? Like F Dot Marley. You feel me? My boy Dot. You feel me? E yeah. F. Like he he like he Dot like Marley. like. Like when the when the rap scene first started off in the like the games, one of them everybody wanted to shoot their video. So, All right, so like, that that's what I'm trying to connect. So he's like one of the starters in this shit. Like you feel me? Like so, for real. Who was really rapping first with the So Icy Boy shit? Like who was the, really the yeah, first? Uh, Buck Twenty. It was Buck Twenty before it was a lot of shit. Yeah, see Buck Twenty. Look, Everybody. this before Pac Man or like what's the timeline? I like, say, um, actually, nah, Pac Man, like, Pac-Man I, if I ain't like mistaken, he like the he the creator of Drew. If uh, I ain't mistaken, you feel me? Like, yeah. that's what you know, like, mean. but Doc, look, look, but Buck Twenty and shit, they came they, right they, out they, was, they was like, like yeah, they, they like what? Like, like, ain't gonna lie, I feel like Pac Man had shit turned. You know what I'm saying? Ain't taking nothing from him and shit, but it was a point in time where like, like Buck Twenty had the city on some like, sure. everybody fucked with them. Like one no, like the enemy was. We really had like the enemies was our people. It was people we grew up with in school. We, we grew up fighting and shit like on some fighting shit. Like it never turned to no gun shit with them, and we cool with them now. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it never. You feel me? Like the whales yeah. and shit. Yeah, it never yeah. got to know like oh, we killing y'all. They killing us. We killing. Uh, with that's they and we friends now. Them was really our then our enemies yeah. growing up back then. We was fighting them, taking them, take well, child them getting jumped and fighting them coming to the hood. We all running over there. We kids, we kids in this shit too. Like we was out here, like feel me. But is that that's kind of like a distant memory of simple times when you could just be for somebody and it wasn't that big a deal? Yeah, yeah y'all gonna fight. The most thing y'all gonna do is fight and jump on each other. Walking really up like, to no. the, like all my, my whether my homies with me or not. Like yeah, I'm the type that's gonna walk up and get on that. But like how it is in the hood, like like we got like a, a it ain't no structure like to to the point where. Well, you know what's finna happen if you do this type of shit. Nah, I mean, no none of that. Like, we, we got an understanding of, like, and it's my brother. I love him. You feel me? Like, so so I'm, I ain't gonna lie. It's my, my real, one of my real close homies. His name Hub. You feel me? We was back then in them days. We, me and him used to, like, not like each other so much. I'll walk up on bro no matter nowhere. Man, what's up, man? Like, I, get this off my chest. Like, we sitting here scrapping. Mm. Scrapping, scrapping. Bro, them right here cheering for who they want to win. Like, oh, yeah, you... <laughs> Whoop him, huh? whoop him, make him, whoop him, whoop him. Feel me like, <coughs> but then some outsiders or something that ain't from this neighborhood, like that he he see me going through something like I about been getting chased about three, four, four niggas. He run up out of nowhere, helping me, kind of bigger than me and kind of swole, so niggas be running from him and shit. Helping me now, like, but me and him don't like each other like that back then. Yeah, I do like so each other. Real family, like, like now we can, but but now now we is close. We be super close, but. It's an understanding mm-hmm. where we from, like, you feel me, like, we ain't the enemy. Like, we know us people that don't like us just for being from right here. Okay, like, he, but here's a test. We ain't the enemy. I've heard about situations where, like, dudes from Detroit will be out of state. They in Miami, they're on the club, whatever, and they're kind of like ops. But then, like, one of them will get in a situation, and their ops will, like, jump in to, like, help them in a situation because of the fact that they're so, they're so far away from home that it feels like now they got to stick together. Do you think that that would ever happen with Chicago dudes? Hell no. Nah. Look, it's, it's, look I, I got a good answer for that. Y'all know, like, y'all know, like, it's, look, it's, it's I never, I never met in person that, like, that, be, that, that fuck with me through, like, supporting the music on Instagram, maybe, like, or like 
even DMs is looking at my story just saying, damn, I ain't gonna lie, you turn, bro, keep going. And people and there's people that kinda got a little name and shit, like, now they cool and shit. But we ain't clicked up with them, none of that shit ain't, none of that. We out of town. And I bump into them type people, yeah. Like oh, I see some out of town niggas trying to do some out of town shit on a nigga like like Rico Reckless or something. He ain't did nothing but show me a little love, you know. Like I don't, I don't got, I ain't attached to none of his beef. So I ain't trying to be into it. Yeah. But let's say I'm, I'm at a, I'm at a, I'm at a casino. Feel me? And I, and he coming to me. All these niggas in there deep man. They trying to do this and that. I'm trying to make it out of here. I've been and tried to help him get up out of here. Like check it out. Come on, we up, man. You feel me? Like now niggas running up on us. Something. Oh my god. Mm. I'm gonna move how I move. I'm from where I'm from. Stand on how I stand up. You feel me? But I ain't trying to be. See how I ain't trying to take his side on no beefs or nothing like. But yeah. he showed love on the internet. He a little mutual, and we all the way out here. In the, my bad. He we all the way out here. In the, feel me? Oh uh, yeah, I'm a probably. But the ops, hell no. Bro, like, <laughs> you be rooting them on or helping yeah. out the people they're gonna fight with? Like the ops, <laughs> like my real enemies. Yeah. Man, I'm. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> They ain't probably, look, see, me, I'm going to keep it real. Like, the people who 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 just pose a threat to my life, like, if it's people out there that pose a threat to my life, you feel me? Like, man, hell no. Like, I ain't got it. Well, I, I hope they take it as far as, to, if I ain't on that myself, I hope they take it far as to leave right here. Boy, I'm going to be going home laughing like, damn, that's crazy. That's an underrated feeling when you look at social media and you see somebody you don't like getting beat up. Yeah, I'm, that's man, an underrated feeling. I, I'm sure yeah, that's... <laughs> Yeah, you feel me? I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I'm a watch. I've been a, he running from, from a nigga finna beat him up. Like, not the police. I, I help him get away from the 12. I hate 12. Okay. Mm. But, but I see him running from a big nigga that's trying to punch his head off. I've been a trip to him. <laughs> like, hey, where you going? Where you going? Step aside. Hey, step to the side while there he, there you go. Hey, damn. That happened to him out there. I seen you all. <laughs> I, I seen Cairo posting your shit because you mentioned Rico Reckless. Where, where you where you know Cairo from? No Cairo. Yeah, that's that's bro. That's bro. I think he was like family. supporting your music off oh, word. Yeah. He family. he kind of like family tied through the hood and shit. He, but but me and him kicking it on that type of level ain't even off no like I don't, I don't even think it got nothing to do with that because where we from we don't even be too much on that. Like I I've been told bro like man Cairo funny as hell. Okay, I want to I want to fuck with buddy like mm. get around dude. I fuck with him. He funny. But he don't be, we don't really be on that type town like that too much. Like, so, but I think he fuck with me off straight. Like, yeah, he see how I'm coming. Because he, he say, like, yeah, you yeah, you really keep going, boy. I like that shit. Like, okay. feel me? Like, and he been, bro, bro been saying, like, Carol them third. Like, I see how they come just like, bro. How long you been you know rapping? Because I was, I was listening to a lot of the songs today. And it seemed like you ain't just been, you just, you ain't just start rapping. Like, you actually got skill with it. Like, it seemed like you actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, putting the time in to perfect yeah, being a rapper. Some, been through some real fucked up shit in my life that put me through this rap. Like, that started me making songs and shit. Like, when would you say you started, though? Because, like, oh. Tay, he just started rapping. So, we we all just got familiar with Welch World recently, and Tay, he kind of knew the rapping. So, like, you was rapping before Tay? Or? Yeah, yeah, like. Because Tay, Tay the one told me to do the interview and shit. Yeah, I, I, I've been rapping since 20, like, it's been like. Look, 2012 when I wrote my first like like I really wrote a song on some like yeah like that's what I'm doing and I ain't stopped since 2012 I was locked up shit I was 16 they charged me as an adult for a robbery so I was fighting 21 to 45 I was in an ID home for six months then when I turned 17 on my birthday they sent me to the county with the adults you feel me we in that bitch fought that case for a minute how long you was all in, in Cook County for? I was in the county probably like. After that, I was in the county probably like a year. Then ended up getting some time. I don't know, eight years at 50% for that, for a robbery and shit. All right. Dang. But I knocked that shit out. The whole time I was doing that, though, I was working on this type of shit, though. I'm, I'm getting on the phone with niggas like him. Or my brother, they feeling me rapping and shit. So you said you started rapping in 2012. Like, what, yeah. what, what inspired you? Like, the Chief Keef era? Like, you seen how he was going up? Nah, uh, like, see, see, I ain't gonna lie, I've been doing, like, done everything, like, like I'm one of them, like, Hoobah Hoob, Hoob football, I, I like that, everything, like, being competitive with done everything, so I've been, yeah. uh, wrote some shit and been rapping, but, and people knew I could rap, but, me saying, like, are oh, you a rapper, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna chase that if I, when I make it out of here, I'm a, I was in jail, like, and created that dream from, from that pain, I ain't gonna lie, I was in that bitch, I was in there doing my thing on, beating on the dough. 
people calling me to my cell, like calling me to the door, like, yeah, man, I got this many noodles. Hit that song, hit this one song for me, you be rapping. That shit and really like, came out the blue though, like you feel me? He surprised us with that shit. Like, when I came home, they ain't even know I was like know he that. Was it just got no rapping shit. He was just like a, a badass kid for the like, real life, like you feel me? And then he got the you feel me? A <laughs> real rap shit, like you feel me? Oh yeah, damn. Like we, that surprised us. So he put on some shit. You feel me? Oh damn, this shit raw as hell. Show you why you ain't been let us know you be on this type of shit, like. He just wanted to terrorize the hood shit, like, you feel me? What, what, did you feel like there was no main rapper from your area before before you came out, or, or who, who was representing before that? Doc Marley, you feel me, right? I'm game. My boy Doc, he look, he, see, see, where I'm from is all the people that went to, you feel me, that, that went to the school we went to and created the bonds like brothers living in the slums, how we did and shit, like, on some family shit. It's like, bro, them on 43rd Estate. Then it's us on, on our squad, you feel me? And F Dot and the Buck 20 Brick Boys. That's what, that's what they like, the, that, that's where that came from. You feel me? Dot, he like, he was like, I ain't gonna say they top rapper because Chopper, Chopper the Goon, he had his like, I ain't gonna lie, he was like the hottest one to me, to a lot of people. But Dot got that Jay Z, Nas type, real bars. If you listen, Anybody listen, like sit back and listen, you gonna be like, damn, this nigga, fuck, why he, why he ain't somewhere, but he, he fell in love with photography and, for, bro, do videos for me on the side of photography, like, but he, a, he, you feel me, professional photographer, he, he, he fell in love with that, he still rap though, like, still got, uh, like every beat he had, like that D-Lo, that boss man D-Lo, now, yeah. now a lot of people remixing it, I remixed it, just drop something to it, he got something to that, it's cold. Feel me like he, but he the, nobody he fucking with your shit though. Shorty got the best version of it. Yeah, like, F that, that, F that was like he was, he was, he was. Look, so Buck he, Twenty was brick, but was big at one point. Yeah, feel me like. And who was considered the Buck Twenty boys? Like who was all rapping? It was F Dot. You feel me? One of the guys named Jay Chris right now. You feel me? He's slightweight. He my producer right now. He too. You feel me? He got beats like he he get wild with the beats. You feel me? Jay Chris. You feel me? And uh. Being up black, you feel me, and chop it a gun. Yeah, because that's what I was about to ask y'all. I was about to say, y'all leaving no billionaire from the rappers from that area. Yeah, but he wanted to be one. He wanted better than, 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 than. Nah, he just said names like, not even the rappers. Saying, not even saying, like, who was better for real. It's just, like, the, like back then, Dot was, like, the lead rapper. He was the he was the rap nigga. Like, Dot was the rap nigga. Like, like, really Dot no was the street. He, look, we then, we like, all... Yeah, and it wasn't no competition. It just this is what it was set up like. Like, feel me like Dot was like the rap nigga for real. Chopper was the turned up, got the all the hoes all you feel me type nigga. Jay Chris was the he low key low key. You feel me? Yeah. You feel me? Being that was a flashy like kind of big tough guy. You feel me? Because he wasn't always no little nigga. Like you feel me? Kind of he, now he back big now, but his ass was getting like little and like he big as hell right now. Though, like but. Back then he was that big like he is now and shit like feel me like goon and shit like but but that's how it was set you feel me that was the order of it and Dot was they had a like I ain't, I ain't mistaken I ain't trying to like start no bullshit or nothing but they had some type of deal shit going on like if I ain't mistaken and I think it was like cause of Dot type shit like not saying bro never weak or nothing I'm just saying that offer that I heard about I thought it was like if I ain't mistaken some shit like damn dude you you something wild like. And he on some, oh yeah, we all finna go, we finna, they was finna go crazy, but he caught a gun case. Went to jail, sat enough for too long, time went by. Shit started happening like Chief Keef. Oh, shit. Cause this was before Chief Keef, this like, yeah, this was like not even before Chief Keef, but before all this crazy, like, damn, this big iconic shit, you know? You feel me? Who's gone? One of the originals. Yeah. I'm not That's billionaire. Nah, yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, I'm fascinated with billionaire. What's what? what he is. Like I fuck with billionaire. Billionaire, one of the ones like the originators. Of, like when it comes to the drill, they look at him, Pac Man, Doug, Chief Keef, like for you know, that I, footprint he put in there. That's where he was at though. With, with Dotton and his position that he played, like, and he was cool with. We was cool with. He wasn't no measuring like how he goofy or nothing like. Cause Black was one of them fighters, you feel me? Black was one of them, like, when they in school, 
my fucking school, they fighting the Welsh, and he one of the people that get wild. You feel me? Like, he ain't no goop. I ain't saying dude a bitch ass nigga, nothing. He, he, one of those back then, like, when we speaking, if you ask about your question, like, where was I back then? I was right there. He was one of them type of, you feel me? I argue with him a lot. I mean, we, when, when I, I was see. shorty, like, like, it was, at, at one point we was cool. Like, we ended up getting cool after the, we was shorty. When I was young, though, I ain't, he ain't broke, me and bro ain't never tied in. Like, his little brother, though, Millie, it's like one of my best friends. Like, like, it's a circle of us, like, you know, like, yeah. He with our circle, or like how we be like every day, check on the guys. Like something happened to somebody in the hood or something. Like we heard some have some shooting shit happened on the block somewhere or something. We heard like are we calling these certain people? Like not certain people, but like them people you get to worry about instantly. You get to calling around. Yeah, it's our circle. Like his little brother, one of them. Like so, it's like it's super controversial when I have me and him. No, because y'all be arguing shit. online and shit. Like, what's y'all relationship right now? Cause that like, shit, that's like brotherly love, though. Like, that's, that's all like a family type shit. Like, you feel me? Like, that ain't even lie. I would respect for, for, for his mama. You feel me? His mama and his daddy and his brother. His brothers, all them for real. Like, because all them, like, even his cousin Mizzy, I respect for all them. Everybody, like, I don't know them EG, them EG guys. Like, I don't give a fuck about doing them. Like, you feel me? All them, did, them other, I ain't gonna say no niggas' names or nothing like that. All them other, I don't know them niggas, I don't care. But they family, like I ain't, just for them, I ain't, I ain't gonna speak too ill about dude. Yeah, yeah. Feel me, I'ma just leave that shit I feel and what it is, what it, it is, what it is. It ain't, no like, we fell out in, and shit, he, he, he got on that internet, got the, on, on his thing, me too, you feel me, but. Both of y'all was saying some crazy shit. Yeah, it was like that, but some real shit though. <laughs> It's like a like relationship said, with y'all too. Y'all, y'all got y'all built the relationship right. Yeah. So uh, if he decide to fire you, y'all gonna have y'all gonna have real words, right? Yeah. So that's how that shit is with them. Like it's just like you feel me. It's just like a lot of anger and emotion mixed in. Some that. real shit. Like like you look, my fuck come. But he was like, saying some crazy shit. He he had a lot of crazy shit to say. He said that Tay Savage popped you and that yeah. you was a backdoor ass nigga. Yeah. Of course not. You put that shit on, that shit out on YouTube, all type of shit. Nah, I'm like, what the fuck? That's a serious accusation these days. Yeah. But you in but the back and then you would take friends and Tay set this interview up, so I'm like, how Tay pop? This ain't go, look, and what I'm finna say can't get Tay in trouble or nothing because the truth is he, he capped me. But look, let me just say this. How you feel about this this fact I'm gonna put in front of you guys? Oh, for sure. Like, Tay a good guy. What he been doing wrong in, in y'all ass? The music might sound like where we come from, but like I said, you know that box we talking about we lived in? We just on that. Like, we rapping about that. Like, how we grew up, it's like that in that box, man. Like, what we grew up in, I was talking about. So his music gonna sound like that. He, he I know he transitioning, because I've I been hearing some unreleased y'all gotta get to. He got some shit, and it's gonna get different than that. Like, it's getting way different. With me too, you gotta, y'all gotta listen. But, but on some real shit, like, he a good guy, right? Yeah, like, I follow Fuck with Tay, right? Yeah, but we th- we first kind of realized that he like, might not be serious about the push and peace movement when we heard the song that you guys did together. Look, Remember we read the me. quotes to Jay Mayne and he was like very he was like fake was, mad. And, and I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna say this. <laughs> I feel like that's why me and Jay Mayne ain't kind of like did nothing. Or you don't see me kicking it with him and him kicking with me. I might. We he might thinks you're not serious about pushing peace. He, he, no, look, see him. I guess like look. I know it's people that like. No, look, let me say this. I know it's people probably don't like my approach on on the peace thing. Like like Taze. Taze is literally like, he be in my ear. Like, if y'all hear our personal conversations, it's just like, it's a lot of chest ties, like shit like this, big bro. He be on some, man, I ain't gonna lie. Like, not no yelling, like we know, I'm, I'm, I'm me, ain't nobody doing that. It's like, just big bro saying like, man, life a game of chess, and this is what I feel about these moves you be making. You feel me? Like, and I be brushing up on it like, man, he probably right. Like, you feel me? Like, he the type like, like he ain't finna let me send my, I ain't finna send myself out. He ain't finna let me send myself out. Like he, he, he hit me and let me know if I'm if I'm moving wrong about something. Like, like he 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 be in my ear a lot about how I do. But this my, I'm just give you my understanding. Like you gonna take it or say you don't fuck with me or whatever it is. Like my understanding is this. Like we pushing peace. But man, you ain't finna tell me it ain't people that say fuck that and still trying to if they see me in public, blast mm-hmm. me down. For them people, boy, I was bra- I was raised for this shit. You feel me? I was in that little box. It was treacherous. He calling his cousin Puna. 
to come, come on, fight man. me. I'm I'm I'm, I'm smaller I, than Puna. I, I, Puna to come fight me. I'm on, a shorty. I'm a shorty. Put the gloves on. This big nigga kind of getting up with me, but ah uh, ah uh, come here. I ain't hitting the floor. I'm going to handle this business. Yeah. Now, when, 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 later on, we walking up the street, and it's like seven, eight guys, and it's about four of us, young guys, and he with, he with us. We getting attacked, but it's going down. We whooping them. Like, we going through. I'm going home, black eyes, big mouth, and shit. My mama and them like, what the fuck is happening around this bitch? Like, not letting me come outside. Some days I'm sneaking out. I got to get around. Like, this my brothers. Like, they out here. Yeah. Feel me? Like, this what's mm. going on. Mm. Mm. So, so billionaire was just lying? When he just said that shit, yeah, he just... Man, man. Feel me? Just think, look, this is what I was trying to say before you said what you said. Tell you a good guy. Yeah. Why would you say something like, damn, you know that man just did 10 years, right? Yeah. Like, well, now, I... look, that's not true, but in the streets, fuck what we believe in all that. Let's stay in the streets. And if something like that happened, right? What yeah. the fuck? He on with Tay. They don't need to like, speak on shit like that. Look at them all. Like, look. They hang out. I don't know if Tay gonna like what I'm saying. But look at them kicking it like they kicking it. Like, Tay, so why he, why y'all don't think he pe- being on some piece shit? Because let that would have been me. You getting on the internet saying some shit like that about me, boy? What the hell? True or false? Well, I can go to, I can, what the fuck? You trying to send me to jail or something? Like, that, I'm on parole. j doing skits. I ain't did skits. shit, snake. I ain't did nothing. j main doing skits with Tay Savage. Whether is, it's true or not. Is, like, is, I'm telling you that's not true, though. But coming from like you. I'm saying you, you like Tay, right? Yeah, I follow. Ask that question to Black if you like Tay then. Like, damn, why would you even put Tay in that position then? Like, though, like, even if y'all beefing or whatever, why would you say some shit like that, though? That that, that point that what dude's saying about you, about you being a rat and telling this shit. What, Nick, what, what, everybody in that room? Man, I ain't even supposed to be saying that shit. I ain't even even gonna talk about that. But, like, J Main has, like, that part of this shit. He's made it clear that he understands that. Tay is the savage one in their dynamic, right? Like he's he acknowledges that he, Tay could do whatever he wanted to him, and he's gonna basically he's the one who basically said like I want I would rather be cool with you. Hey, and make skits. It's cause it's cause like I ain't saying J Main no 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 pussy none of that type of shit. Like he on some like telling the truth shit though, like. He Tay be Tay the type of person he grew up he he grew up as like it is what it is like he went through what he went through in life like on some surviving shit like just think about it like you feel me Tay Tay had a few uh, it was it was four people I ain't gonna say their names and be blasting people to uh, make them those targets for people that don't like niggas and all yeah, that type of shit but yeah. it was four of them one of them dead it's Welch why the fuck where where's all this like hate coming from from dude man. You know, like all the, you know, he survived some shit going on. Like, you know, like people get to trying to take life. Stay his homie die. He get first he gets shot and then his homie dead while he laid up, shot somewhere. Like, you feel me? And dude went to jail. He and and and, and was innocent for some shit. Like, whether y'all believe he a savage killer and all that, all that weird shit. He beat the cases. So what y'all got it, like, see is like, dude, don't what he on, like, you know, like. He he beat them charges because, you know we we we, we you know. So that's, that's, the, that's the that's the that's the facts that we stand behind and shit like you know like, you know like dude a good person and shit what he putting out here is what he put like like all these narratives coming from, people opinions, Spectators. like J Man got his opinion, but if you ask me it ain't cause he seen take kill no one, cause he didn't. What he didn't see take do no savage ass shit like no killings killing. Blazing like, all mama. The situation like how you say that? Because that's the main that thing case. he be saying. He beat that case. And then like when people do shit like try to try to cause harm or say something wild about Welch, shit. Them the people that don't chase the that them the people that's on some like fuck the peace. So it's gonna end up what it be, but then when they try to attack, right? Yeah. So a motherfucker like us, we grew up in the in the box. We gonna we gonna um be prepared for that type of Goofy shit, you feel me? So how y'all feel when y'all see like a, a Trap Lord Ross documentary breaking down Welch World and all y'all shit? Like y'all, y'all watch shit like that? Like I already know y'all seen it was tripped out. Watch shit like that, like you feel me? Cause how the fuck he get all that information that he got? Like, you feel me? So it's just like you feel me? You know how that shit go? Like what was your thoughts on it? He a fan, right? Like let's keep it real. He a fan of Tay, right? Yeah. Like he ain't, 
I believe he said, like, at his mouth, like, I ain't trying to get nobody in trouble or nothing. Like, like, like I really fuck with Tay. I like Tay. Like, I'm doing this because, like, he's a, he's a, this is a cool story, a cool guy. Like, I'm, he, he's speculating on what he think and what he feel about some shit he read on the internet. He, it's, it's like... He ain't personally did nothing to no, nothing wrong or nothing to me. To me, it's like I seen old Facebook posts I made out there. Yeah. I'll tell you shit. But I was like oh, 12, 13. I was, uh, you feel me? On some like, I, said, I forgot what the fuck I said. It's a lot of little, little messages, little shit I put out there. I was tweaking and shit. Like being goofy on the internet. And he used that shit in his story. Uh, like and back then, look, and like back then, man. growing up, like him and my brother, best friends. They in the streets doing what they doing. His little cousins and shit. I'm in the streets with them and shit. Like we ain't in the house. Like we right here in our square and out in the in the circle in the in the like the, the outer circle of our square. Growing up in this shit too. Like well, take Roman and being the type of person everybody thinking whatever this shit is whatever. Like we grew up right here all together in that shit. Like you feel me? Like so I like I know like like you feel me? I know every. Every like the ins and outs of the whole, feel me? What y'all believe and what y'all should know is true and all that. Like, but the facts is, beating them charges, coming home, take care of his peoples, linking up with people who y'all would consider the ops, saying, "Hey, we ain't, what the hell is all the killing about? We ain't, what 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 they talking about on the internet? Let's not do that here. Let's talk about some shit like this on this internet and off this internet and show them." That we really, we really ain't no monsters and shit. Like that's all he did in front of his camera. But when when Tay does that song with you and he puts uh, was a rockhead and fathead in in his verse, do you look at that like he doesn't feel like he can really get attention as a rapper unless he's dissing his ops by name, or do you look at it as that's just really what his soul wants to do? I don't look at it like he ain't perfect. You feel me? And when a person you got a vi- like, it's a video of Tay on on the camera with his cousin. Look, our, our brother, little dude that just died. And somebody asked like, "Who are you?" He, oh, I'm the manager. You feel me? Oh, yeah, word. Who, eh. He just recently died, and you got kiddo. You no, know, me, I ain't go sit back and act like we don't know what's happening around. You know, you got kiddo on here saying a lot of like laughing, ha ha shit about it. You feel me, like? Tay, I, I, you feel me? He, I, I, I wrote my, what I wrote about that song went crazy. I did like, you feel me? I've been re- wrote, wrote a few di- a few diss songs myself. You feel me? Like, he was staying away from that. Like, if, if, like, if you go look back, I got a lot of, like, songs saying like, this man, this man got out of jail doing this and um, we talking like that and like we dissing each other for real. I'm dissing him and she's saying little shit. You feel me? Like, Tay was staying out of that. But ain't nobody perfect. Ain't nobody perfect. He 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 took some. He took a couple of losses, deaths, close friends since he been home, and real close ones like his brother, A. Rob, rest in peace, our ah, brother, A. Rob. Like they was neck. They was like when we was growing up in that era. They was close as hell too. Like he brought like that's his real. But he died first. Like soon as bro got out that around like this 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 happened soon. Then not that. And you on the internet trolling and and it's everywhere. You, everybody seeing you doing it and it's like not trolling like you did it or nothing. But I ain't go incriminate nobody. And you know I'm saying, but I'm saying like just dissing because you don't like a person saying something like fuck a person and all that. Goofy you shit. responding on some angry shit. If you ask me, <laughs> you was locked up with kiddo because I seen you had a whole bunch of shit to say about when y'all was in jail together. Yeah, man, it's that. What, what was y'all experience? Yeah, what was y'all experience in like in jail? <laughs> you were saying some shit. I'm like, ain't no way kiddo making your noodles and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that part. Cause I don't believe that kiddo. He, Look, me and my you homie, said you're extorting him. I was yeah. telling you about my homie that's close to me, like that. That we, I used to walk up, like we we had some on our chest. We always had to get it off, like just fighting out of nowhere. His name Hub. His name Hub. You feel me? He was he was uh. Me and him was locked up together. Like we from our hood, grew up like this. In this neighborhood, end up catching cases around the same time. We was locked up in the county together, 17 year olds. Feel me? They all in, we all in green jumpsuits because they changed the law. Like, you gotta be 18 to go to the county. But we was the 17 year old kids that was already in this shit. So, they just putting us all over here. 
kiddo the same age, you feel me? Like this shit documented, like right? this shit, this shit, doc- like you can look, it's, it's shit that, it's look, I ain't gonna do that cause I ain't no 12 ass nigga, but it's shit that I remember happening on our deck, that shit that got caught by 12, that I could talk to you about, and they could probably see this and look Cook this up. And then- see this, look this up and be like, damn, he ain't mm-hmm. lying. This person caught a ticket for that and caught a ticket for that. So you go find all the footage and all that. And I, I could point out shit and you will see kiddo doing shit for me, like doing, like, you feel me? Certain, like, certain situations I could speak upon. I could show, like, us being right there with each other and shit going on, like, and how he acted in them situations. Like, the deck would go up. I was on, if it's videos, you could find of a deck going up when I was on 17, yo. When I was 17, period, because we was all over there. Any deck that went up on my shit, they got 10 10. If you could look that up, you will see how he react when it come to like, oh yeah, how I'm, how we, like, he done it was like a a soldier, man, in real life. Like, ain't no, we was friends, so that's why we cool. It, when he came to my door, like when he first came, a nigga named Big Nas was like, I oh, had yeah, a nigga kiddo coming over here too, bro. Like, I'm all get the fuck out of here, you feel me? Put Nas in the cell, then he come on the deck and come to my door too. He, oh, yeah, that's funk. You, what's up? Like, my nickname from when we were shorties in the, in, the, in, the, in the war shit, we, you know, all this shit going on. Like, nigga, knew me by, by that. That's my childhood name, Funky. Like, he come over that bitch, oh, that's funky. What's up, bro? He, whoa, I'm, I'm not. And he, like, anybody that know me personally, know my, like, my, my, my persona. Like, like, they just know what I'm on. Like, like, I ain't saying, like, I'm just that. I'll probably get my ass. Well, uh, keep it real. I probably lost. I probably lose a fight. I probably lost a fight. Like, I, but I be the ass. Nah, I be the one aggressive and in, in in initiating that situation. I be in. Like, ain't nobody ever pressing me. It be me like pressing situations when I'm in situations like that. Like, feel me? So you, you and uh kiddo just y'all was locked. And when y'all was locked up, y'all was friends though. That's what you basically saying? Nah, nah. It was like, it was like a like an intern. It was like a man. Any day, any any day, he could like step wrong, or like we could get the wrong call. Like not even know no like somebody got killed shit, but like it's an agreement going on that's stopping you from getting fucked up. And you know this, like. So y'all was beefing while y'all so, was in jail. Yeah, right. like when I, look when he first come to my door, I'm ah yeah, like cause me I'm at the door, I'm ah yeah, feeling like what you want, like cause the only way out now is to do some whole shit and say. I am finna go to the deck and tell the CEO, hey, CEO, I don't want to be over here. That's the only way out this situation. And if you do that, yeah, if you stop playing, like, I, I did that to one of the officers. If that happened, if that happened, it's like, yeah, you, you did that, brody. Like, his bitch ass, like, and his homie, I'm going to treat him probably, too. You feel me? Like, Your man, name's fucked that, up man. for life if you do that. Yeah, that's not, not, not like, nah. fucked up for life, but it's like, you got hold by the ops. Like, mm. we gonna, I'm going to feel some way to you. Like, you my brother, you... <laughs> I'm a damn why you ain't stand firm and them and them boys that's trying to kill us. Cause we we the aggressors. Like when it come to like fighting and all that tough ass shit people trying to do in jail. I ain't no nigga, ain't no person from where I'm from finna let you push them, man. Big or small, no, man. My, shout out my brother Millie. He's supposed to be here. My, building, being that black little brother, man. He he like this tall, bro. He like this tall, man. He the toughest one out of all us, bro. That's bearing that black like yeah, man, real brother. brother. He, the, he, he the toughest one out of all us, man. You say something wrong to me and him, man. I ain't gotta say, like he ain't no sin off or nothing. This our type of relationship. Like, like let's say you smack the shit out of me. Like, no, no disrespect to you, now. You smack the shit out of me. I, 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 I can sit here like a hoe and be like, hey, what the fuck? His reaction ain't gonna be that, or my my brother reaction ain't gonna be that. Like, Millie the type, the one gonna be the one tweaking bad. Like he, he the he the tweaker. Like you feel me, like. He mo- he be tweaking, he a tweaker, but he a before before Millie would stop something like no 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 wait wait man look let's chill this ain't Millie be the one that went there but he the smallest one with a gun without a gun with a weapon without a weapon he the type to get the wildin. It's weird how the That's hands me. matter so much behind bars and then don't really matter at all in the streets, right? Man, look it do. Cause like look, cause there look, are fights that happen. Nigga, it just doesn't like, get attention. Look, niggas that go through that. Like what kiddo went through, they ain't gonna open up about that. Like you feel me? Like, like look, if you get caught red handed, like and everybody, a lot of people seen it. Like, cause I got, I, it's a lot of people know this. Like that's why I brought up my homie was locked up with us. He was there for every little, every moment of that. Yeah, you feel me? Like, it's people that step up here with they face. 
not care about no danger and say, hey, I saw him take you to the bathroom with a, with a, with a person and make you fight that person for him. I just, like, man, you too little. But hold on. Come here, kiddo, man. I can fly in this, okay, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you resent the way that... see what's gonna happen. And kiddo ain't wanna fight. Like, shit like that happening. Like, so you know... you resent the way that he's been talking to Tay and shit? Like, or just the whole overall vibe? Like, were you surprised that he came out rapping with that vibe of being, like, super Look, where I'm from, we despise goofy shit. Like, I be doing goofy shit, and, and people like him be, like, the main person try to... Try to try to say something about it, like him. This is my brother, though. Like he a lot of rapper people, shit qualifies but, but, as but goofy kiddo, shit, right? Look, the shit he like, look, feel me? This is somebody you don't even know, not Welch, but tell y'all together, like chasing, like you get out of jail, and the situation in the world you choose to try to beef with and show the world you beefing with is Tay Savage was rare. Why? Like you don't even know that guy. You never been in an altercation with him personally. In jail or out of jail, you never met him or talked to him or nothing. And in our beef, like the beef that everybody's seeing with them, he ain't did nothing to us. Like, pers- like you ain't perfect, fam. You ain't got nothing. Pers- like, you ain't got no type of. But when we was in jail, man, it was so it was ugly for him. Like, it was some real shit. Like, I ain't just saying, I ain't just saying that. Like, I went fucked up. It was ways to make love. But money in jail, you ain't got people sending you money. I went fucked up, but a lot of meals came out of his box. What type of meals, though? Kiddo? Fish. I could, look, look, I could call somebody right now to explain what kind of meal we ate at his box. <laughs> like, like not, at, not on no, like, not on no, like, oh, let us, can we get, can we have this? Or loan me this? Or none of that. It was a come to the door. And so it was more than just no. I was ain't gonna lie. I felt like, a, I felt like a bitch. I felt like a pussy myself. But look. <laughs> We get on the phone, bro, and they t- and Tay saying like, whatever he said to me that made me sit back like, I right, can't brutalize you over here, but it's gotta be bad for this goof ass nigga over here. You feel me? Like, I can't brutal, I can't brutalize you. You feel me? Cause it's gonna do what, what bro and them don't want to do on the streets right now. They on some other shit. I gotta be a certain way for the clan, like for for the family. Like they asking me to chill on him. I. Right. But in ways he finna, man. Just think about it. If you don't like this person, you gotta be stuck with him, though. Like I ain't gotta be stuck with you. I can make you move around, but yeah. that box full though. So people love him. Survival. Oh well, I'm coming to the door. If I'm lying, I'm down. It's aggression. It's not nothing you would you would like yeah. or you would you would welcome. It's nothing you would welcome. Like my child. Like and he know me. Everybody out there know me. Explain what type of person I am. It's what type of person I am. Like I'm, I come to his door. I'm at the bottom, Chuck. My homie, my homie that, that's with me, he telling me not to be on this because, on top of them telling us not to be on this, we over here together. Got, got to we over here together was, as they brothers was, they too. Was kids, they was so, kids at this time. I was, you was at I was time. seventeen at that time. So, so oh, you talking about back in the day. This, 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 this really, this, so this what happened. We was in jail. Own math and uh, if this, show you just did ten years. How, how much time did he? That's when this happened. He did ten. I was this, this, this. We was locked up together for this. My kid, I was facing 21 myself, 21 to 45 myself. The victim on my case came and said that they didn't want to see me get smacked. His brother had my same judge, and they gave him 21 years on his robbery. Man, the victim was an 81 year old veteran, and it was and it was some he came and sat in the courtroom in front of my parents and the judge saying like, "Hey, that got me the deal that I got." Like it was some discipline for a kid type shit because I'm 17. I got some sh- some shit like, "Okay, you go do this much time in this facility that that's rough." If you fuck up here, you got to do this bigger amount of time. I went that fucked up. Turned like, I turned some, some little shit into eight years. Four months. And setting that motherfucker. Yeah. Kiddo, I, I'm so salty about that. I ain't, then didn't even want to say it. Uh, <laughs> Kiddo was the only op on your deck? Four years until. Or yeah, like a whole bunch of Yeah, he the only, he, every time anybody else came around me, they'd tell you, get like, I like that with them. It was finna go down. He got, you know what he got saved by? Phone call, man. Like, cause look, I'm in the cell. He while I'm locked down, they put they they bring like twenty they bring like ten buzz on at a time. I'm the first wave of niggas come on this bitch. Now I'm at the bottom deck on oh yeah seeing everybody come through this bitch. Now when he come in the way, it was another nigga that I knew from my, from the streets came on the wave. My homie came on the wave, then his wave come and it's him. I'm how oh, first nigga he talked to. It's me like I'm yeah hey hey boy. Ha <laughs> ha man it don't like this shit crazy got me one. I'm t- I'm like this with him like. You know what the fuck going on? Like, I'm the boy. Like, I was in the streets for real. Like, when we yeah. before this jail shit, 
I was just out there, boy. Like, you feel me? Anything you felt like you did or something, like, or yo, people did or something, like, I was in the streets, saying, if, if, if you feel like we, like, come on now. Like, I, I ain't no new nigga or nothing. So when I seen him, or I let him know that, like, boy, your ass, he the one made me, told me to call him. He, boy, he said some wild shit. His homie named Fast that's passed, and our homie named Welsh that's passed. He, man, you got to call him, boy. It's been some Fast World of Welsh World shit going on, boy. Like, saying, like, we cool. I oh, call home, I'm tell you, man. This nigga said that he nah nah nah. Look, we ain't you know we don't do all that. That, that shit dead. Like he, but is it? It is like a little pause going on, cause cause we trying to like what he doing right now. It was some shit like this. I can't really explain like how Tay be coming, but back then so he was doing to something like this and, and it like stopped a, a lot of beef. It ain't it had people like me in jail, thinking I'm not getting out, getting jail tattoos, mm. thinking I ain't getting out of jail, thinking I'm I'm 21 to 45 on the case. Victim came in up, yes, this him. Put a gun in my head, said, give me the kids, take it. Now I'm fighting all this time, thinking I'm not getting out. You think I, look look at me. And, and then look at him. How big you think he is compared to this? No weird shit. Like, I ain't new or nothing. I'm a real beast to compare to that little boy. Would so you- when I ran into him, all that I had in me that hurt, that I was rapping about, making songs about at the time, well, oh, fuck that piece of paper. It was finna happen to him. But he said that. They locked him up. I came out of my I'm finna get on the phone, let bro them know that he finna go down. He finna happen to him right quick. Call my brother, I'm A Wayne. Feel me? Yeah, bro. It's finna happen. He hold on, Tay wanna holler at you. Tay said what he said. I'm I'm all right, go to his door. And the first thing I say is, like, like look, after I just said this to you, let's say it's you. Yeah, yeah. I just said, yeah, Remo boy, what? Oh, don't try that cool. Whoop your ass when I come out. I go get on the phone. I'm, I'm loud as hell on the deck. Uh, ass bro, like I'm a loud ass nigga. I'm, you see how I'm acting right now? I'm, yeah. I'm one of them. I'm, I got a. I'm, I'm mental a bit. You feel me? Like you feel me? I ain't just all regular and shit. So I be. I was geek. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. I'm on the phone. I'm mad, boy. Got me. Look, I know you wish you could catch you one right now, but guess what? I got me one. Finna whoop this boy ass, and it's a little one. <laughs> Yeah, he, a, he, a, he look, man, he a, I don't care if he big, some little small, you claiming that you want to bring harm to the life of, that I love. Okay. Man, you want to kill him and shit. I don't care that you 10 feet tall with this. I mean, look, you 10 feet with a gun trying to kill him. I'm trying to protect my brother. You 4 feet with a gun. Let me catch you without that gun. And you 4 feet. That's like kiddo. Just imagine. Man, ain't nobody finna go against what I'm saying when it come to how I am. So Tay like, stopped y'all from fighting and shit? Yeah, he, he stopped me from, from man, there was a lot of time on the, on the thing. My first, that was that was like six months in my bed. So I already got like some crazy offers and shit. The first offer was 21. I'm slow, I ain't gonna lie, I'm fucked up in my head, my homies will tell you. Yeah. The first offer was 21, the second one was 26, and I'm like, man, they gonna go down. They went up again, and, and somebody told me like, man, if they keep going up, shorty, Take something, cause you gon' they gonna keep going up on you and crack you. Like you feel me? They came to thirty two, and then it's when he come over here. We just interviewed uh, TTB Nez and Seven Five Seven uh, Big V A, and then I think uh, he said that it's cool for niggas to like switch decks and shit. If you just tell the uh, correctional officer and shit that you're on that deck, that you can. Yeah, look, I ain't gonna lie. And they said it ain't looked down upon though. Nah, look, see, it's certain ways to do this type of shit though. Like, you know, like. You see yourself, like, like I don't know, like, I ain't been in a situation where I come on the deck and see a lot of niggas finna get down on me, you know? I'm damn ACO. They trying to beat my ass. I ain't never been in that situation Nothing before. Like, that how that look, though, like, for real, though? Like, because that's how that really be going. Yeah. I've been on the other side of the glass when, 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 when niggas, like, come over here and really, like, oh, we finna... Cause you see us right here, we ain't in the cells. If we in the cells, you come over here, you yeah. don't know who over here. Now they put you in this cell. Now they let us all out. You over here with 10 of your ops. It happened like that. But sometimes it be like, we all out in the day room. You coming on the back, we, but as you walking up, we see you from a distance coming. We all oh, shit, no op policy over here, or oh, oh, it's two of us over here. Oh, we finna, ca- we got him coming, Scud, yeah. Get him, we finna get him straight, now he seeing all this, and he, Man, you don't see them, t- you don't see, yeah, no, nah, they not finna kill me. Them, I know him, I know him, and him. They gonna, as soon as I go on the deck, it's gonna be a fight, y'all can't put me over here. The CO is gonna be human, like, fuck the book and all that. 
they human. They not finna just put you over there now. Mm -hmm. Now you going in the cell, you know you just saved yourself. Now, a lot of people ain't go for a punny because who want to get their ass with, but, man, I got rolled in the county. Me. And I ain't ducking that. I ain't ducking that. They gave me a chance to go. They gave me a chance to leave. I'm in my city. When I come over there, I'm talking to a few niggas. It was like 2 in the morning, coming from Stateville Penitentiary, like doing some hard time, you feel me? Like some some 20, 20, 24 hour lockdown. The shower come to you, the phone, you, like you go to the shower one time, like you walk around the corner to the shower one day, one week, but in the, like in this one shower a week. But, but one of them, you would go to like right up under your cell. So it's literally you locked, you, you, and when you go in the shower, you locked in, I ain't no walking around and now you like, that's the only outside you get. I was fucked up bad in that. Come to the county, I'm, I'm super aggressive from working out in there. Like, all I'm doing is push up this shit. Come to the door, these niggas. They woke. It's one in the morning. Oh, man, who from over here from the low end? I'm that type of guy. Like, I know what it is already. Like, I ain't even come over here hoping it ain't nothing. I'm finna find it. It's jail. And I'm fighting. It's jail. It gotta be that in here. Or you gonna get ate up in here. So I, I'm coming aggressive with it. Like, I don't know. I'm tough as I tough as whoop anybody at. No, I'm coming straight on some... I ain't no disrespect, my brother. You know some niggas over here from the low end, ain't nobody over here. I ain't, I ain't nobody from the low end over here. You don't, you don't know nothing about the low end. Oh, yeah. No disrespect, my brother, you ain't my enemies. You feel me, you, you good, noodle or something? To the next nigga, like, you feel me, like, somebody let me know what it is. I know you, and we good from the low end. Oh, lock in with you, might look out for you. You an enemy. Let you be over here like four, five deep with some niggas that's cool with you. Y'all gonna try to, get, and that's why I haven't. Dang. But I'm me, I ain't ducking it though. I went in my cell. They told me when nobody over there, I go in my cell. The enemy nigga is just him that know me. It's four people he been over here bidding with though. That's cool with him, gonna help him now. Not even my enemies, but. Yeah. So it be like that. I know this already. But he come, he sent somebody to work her on the deck. Like these niggas pussy. Me and bro them would have sat quiet. I would have sent a piece of paper for the worker to my homie and I'm like, hey, we got us one. Don't front that move. He come out, just attack him, gang. We finna break some legs. We finna break some before 12 get over here. He sent the he sent the man over there to say, man, look, bro. Look, bro. They saying you wanna just tell it to it. Bro said, bro, he in this cell right here, his name, woo, woo, he from seven five. He said, man, you wanna just tell 12 you wanna leave? Cause we can leave it in the streets and I'm the type coming out that bitch. Nah, I'm straight. Hell, nah, I'm straight. Do what y'all gotta do, boy. Like, I don't know these other niggas. I'm attacking you, though, when I come out. Like, by myself, I'm on what I'm on. You trying to hurt my people, you trying to hurt me. And I know what it is with you. Like, I know the survival, I know them instincts when. I was a shorty used to be punching up on me and shit. I like, I got, got tough. Niggas like him and my big brother, they best friends. Same mom and daddy, they best friends. Been punching on me since I was a shorty. What's your, tough. I'm what's your relationship with uh, TZB Nez? I seen like a video of y'all on live and shit, just kicking it and shit. His ass. Like, growing up and shit, they, like, the neighborhood he used to be in and shit, they, they was like, people we used to go fight and shit type shit, like, from hanging with niggas like, zooting them from THF, you feel me? Like, shit like, we was real tight with them at one point, and that was like, some niggas that didn't like them. Yeah. That's that's the type of shit. Kind of fell a place like that for real, low key. Like one no really no beef with doing them too much. Like it was a lot of static from like 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 being like like we was talking about earlier, like like it's if you hanging with a motherfucker and know they got shit going on. Yeah. And you in the zone where this shit happened at. Now we now they come through and it happen. Why you right here? Okay. It's gonna make you wanna do some shit to them. Not like now you now you claiming these your enemies. Which is which you should. It's what it is, you know, like, that's the type of shit happening, like, you but know, Oh, I feel it. You know, like, and he, <clears throat> but, but him, though, and I'm not saying this to diss him, and I'm putting this on all of my dead homies in front of one of my homies that's alive. Okay. Most yeah. niggas from where I'm from that I know and been raised with don't know dude or remember him from the streets. Like, the the reason it is any, you know, like, static with that neighborhood is like some some tragic shit happened one day on some on some bro them on their way to the beach shit. Yeah. Scared a nigga. And the nigga did some whole shit. Feel fact. me like my homie died. But Tim. Back then, back then, 
we don't got no recollection of Ness, and that's why we ain't even in tour with man. Like niggas don't like us, cause they homie went to jail for it, got out, did his little time, he got out, feel me? And they like they don't like us and this little shit like that. So, but y'all been just beefing with y'all money and shit from way back, like tight shit from like yeah, grammar school. Like growing up, us in the six, us in the four six. That's that's growing up. They like like his cousin, feel me? Like rest in peace, TP. You feel me? Like TP from the six. Rest in peace. That was my, that was bro to me too. But this bro, this bro, yeah. family, blood family too. Rest in peace, really. Yeah. Uh, Nexus like that. You feel me? Like it ain't no ain't no gang bang going on around here. You feel me? Like you feel what I'm saying? Like everybody got that going on, and that's why, like, cause look, they right around the corner, and this his cousin. He come over here, and not me. I'm the type. They ain't gonna lie here. Tell you, I'm the type that run off our friends though. Like, you ain't from over here, you come over here with him, I'm on some, man, who is him, man? I'm probably could taste something. I'm acting goofy with him and shit, being lame and shit. I'm playing. I was, I was a shorty. They got to correct me and shit. But TP was one of them mem- people, like, I come over here acting goofy and shit. He acting goofy with me and this bro, like, this bro, like, feel me? Like, he one of us, like, he cool and it's his family. Feel me? Like, and they build bonds with people like them. They might not like them. Yeah. So now they coming over here looking for them or whatever may happen. While we right here, and we ain't even know nothing. We right here with bro cousin. They come over here and they trying to do something, bro cousin. The fuck? I ain't saying this what's happening. I'm what, just saying put you in that type of situation. Put yourself in that yeah, predicament yeah. and say like, yeah, that's that's how that that's how that occur with with these guys like with certain people. You feel me? Like a lot of shit started like that. But you and Muda cool because like you got a crazy bar. You was like, uh. The nigga said, I love Muda, but I'm going to kill that bitch Blaze in one of the songs type shit. <laughs> so where you, where, you, where, you, where you know Muda from? Like, just kicking it with TP and just being out with THF? Nah, see, you ain't gonna lie. Muda like a look. And shout out Blaze and I focus you. You don't really want to kill it, right? Nah, man, hell nah. It's just a song. <laughs> look, I, just, I got another interview where I said, in my interview, I said, man, like, I don't feel like nothing wrong about nothing she ever said or did, you feel me? Because what happened to my man, she how she feel about the, the guy that went to jail for her. But like I said to everybody else, like, when I was talking about that, like, he beat the case because he innocent of that, right? Like, that's foul paperwork, man. Can't come back type of shit, like, because he did innocently show he innocent for her. And, and she, she says what, that she doesn't believe that he did. Right, but now... Nah, a lot of people that her, her mama was hanging with probably feel another way and be get to acting wild and threatening people and talking crazy and saying negative things that led people like like us probably that care about that to say some shit like so she don't like probably the shit I probably say in my raps off just history low key I wasn't even one of I wasn't no pipe like look back when it was a war supposedly and they trying to say like when look when Tay went to jail, yeah, he went to jail for for, the, for, them, for that for that murder. The shit murder of Sess and F. That's what right. He went know. to jail for that shit because what like what what they what they was trying to say. What was their story on him taking him to jail? All oh, they think it's a they think it's a beef to a point he did that. All right, cool. Like he beat them cases. Feel me like, but then you got like I wasn't like a member in the streets to the point I'm look like if it's some enemies coming about. I'm shooting at somebody or trying to shoot at somebody, and I when I was the little bro that when we was fighting, don't run. Like when we, we fighting groups and getting jumped and shit, well, saying don't run. But when we in the park and the, and the people came that ran, he hey little bro, man, hit this alley right here. Y'all go ahead on man, slide the little bro crib. Why y'all even right here? So they can handle him. Like go to him and be like on some violent shit. Like when it's kind of protecting us and shit. Like we, I, I was a shorty back then, like on that type of. So 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 I ain't kill your mama or nothing like, but I rap about this shit because like a lot of shit happened in the streets like you feel me like like when he went to jail for that shit and he beat that shit he innocent for that shit you feel me yeah but like it caused a lot of hate from people like I don't been I don't went through a lot of street shit people trying to do some harm to me because his because he from over here where we from and that shit happened like he innocent though like yeah. but we ain't finna put our hands up and run from nobody like you know like. So certain people that don't like like her, you feel me? Like I'm just rapping about where I came from and shit. Like I'm happy as hell. My brother went to jail for that shit and beat it. Like not saying I'm happy he went to jail, 
But he beat that shit. What the fuck? He came from up under some sh- man. Look, he came from up under some. You, sh- we, I should as growing up with him as somebody. He protected me. Like a lot of people chased me to the hood one time, and it was Tay, Marcus, and like people like Welch. They deep. Oh, they must not even knew you was from. They ain't know because oh, you a little kid. That's why they, they trying to. Bring, and why y'all so deep chasing? Come here, now these grown, now, now these older, older guys stepping up to chase them, and I'm in the back of the crowd. Yeah, yeah this happened. This happened. You feel me? It's really happening. Yeah. And nobody gonna say I'm Captain. Like these. That's what I look at Tay eyes. Like no, no, super killing. What? He. One of the guys like, man, what you do to have them chase? What you do to have them chase? You like that? Tay like, man, it don't matter. Would you see how deep them boys was? You sound just if like they him. caught him, he was gonna die under them feet. You feel me? So forget that. Let's just think about that. Yeah. We own that. Like, they tripping. Like, it ain't about, like, you know, like, it's about, it's about this with us. Like, you feel me? He was, he, Welch was kicking it. Like, him and Welch, they was, had relationships with my sister. Like, they knew my sister to the point, like, she was their friend. Like, in they crowd of people at their age. My sister ain't no street person at all. Like, she ain't no, never claimed no gang we be with, none of that type of shit. She was a smart person, a lot of good grades, just look good. And they, 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 she was their friend. You yeah. feel me? Like, Gang, like they around my grandma, Tay and Welch. Welch had my grandma crib by coming out to school one day, like, and then like three days straight, I would see him at the same time right here, and I ask him like, man, what's going on with you? Like, I don't know what was going on at, at the crib or what it was, like, or if him and my sister was kicking, I don't know what they, what it was, but yeah, my grandma crib, like, feel me, and knowing me already, not from kicking it from my sister from. Being out here in the, in, the, in the hood, he know this, you know me by name, like, you know my brother by name, you know. These people that look out for us, though, like, it ain't no, like, they ain't, they ain't never put no gun in my hand and say, go kill nobody or nothing. Tay take, take ain't never said to me, like, like nothing to put me in no bad thing. Anything he came to me was trying to either elevate my pockets, elevate the way I be thinking or something, like, yeah. Feel me? Or dodge the hate. Like, cause it's it's people out here like the older guys be sending the little niggas off to the do shit, right? It's, so you're it's nigga, it is niggas like that. You feel we me? never went through that shit. It's niggas like that, but we ain't never went through that. Like, we were like, the older motherfuckers. Like, mm-hmm. You feel me? So we all listen to each other. We ain't we ain't never had a like uh, shout out Bookie the G. My little brother be rapping going crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. feel me? He hot, he nice. Feel me? Like shout out feel me? Baby Blick. His his one of his one of his close buddies, T baby, shout out Trench baby, Polo G little brother, like these the, these the people recently. like look like yeah. like we ain't had no no like no like they they are first they like they <laughs> short, like how you got a relationship with Trench like, baby? For shorty, like, for yeah, ain't they shit. ain't Trench from like North or uh, nah Chicago? Nah, see, like they. I ain't mistaken, like they 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 moved that way and shit, but but before that, like they grew up in our hood. Like, Polo G too. Shit, basically. Like, like, well, we personally don't know too much about Polo being through our shit, but I remember times where like people would be talking about him, saying they was used how he used to be hooping in our hood, like. But I don't even personally remember back then, like, like that was him. I'm older yeah. than him, so like you feel me, but you know how that shit go. And what's crazy, like, I think I'm, like I'm, I'm like his age a little. I just don't remember him or nothing. Like, I don't, yeah. like it's niggas that I was with every day telling me they remember. Like, I don't remember that. I don't remember him. But his little brother, like he, so he they, 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 he went to our grammar school, all that. Like, yeah, they, they, him and Buki and them, all them, they grew up with each other. They got pictures of each other with each other when they was like this table height and shit, like. For me and they grew up right there in our neighborhood. So, y'all expect Tay to blow up this fast? Because, like you said, you've been rapping since 2012. He just came out of jail doing a 10 year bid or something like that. And it kind of blew up pretty quick. Like, what was y'all thoughts on that? Like, it's just different. Like, different strokes for different folks. Like, you feel me? They probably took a, a better likeness to him than, than the next person. You feel me? So, you just you can't really focus on what he got going on because what he got going on is what he got going on. So, so you got to try to make your way while trying to. Fuck with him too, type shit. Like you feel me? So yeah, that's like we all celebrate. Oh yeah, that's we happy for him. But you feel me? You know, shit. For sure, Tay's somebody who benefited from all the crazy YouTube videos yeah. about him and the interviews where people shit. are talking about so, him a look, certain way. That made people very curious to hear what he was gonna rap you know about. Many, you know how many years out of his life that 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 went to it to to this to this like what we would probably call like clout he got. 
I'm like, he deserving it, ain't he? Like, oh, I mean, if he beat the Chargers, like, whether mm. you believe personally or you believe personally that he a savage murdering beast and did that to them opposition ass peoples, <laughs> whether you believe it personally or you believe that personally, he beat, he it, beat those Chargers. So I'm going to tell you, like, you know I mean? Yeah. That shit, you feel me? Like, no bullshit. That's the best fella shit. You feel me? He deserved this, right? Like, like that's. It's like, you know, shit. like, keep it real. Like, you get home, and that happened. What, the streets of Chicago happened? It don't matter who you are. Like, let's say you, you catch two murder charges, and you beat the murder charges. Like, you catch one murder charge, you beat the murder charge. When you come home, the streets, you know, they might you. A lot of people gonna want to know the story. A lot of people, like, you feel me? Like, and on top of you being a, a, a solid type of individual, too, you got it. You got it in. Yeah, right you, you 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 got it yeah. coming. So when he was in, when he was locked up, I used to be telling him like the whole time he book, he called me and shit. Then we going through the like process of them, some of them years, a lot of them years. Telling him like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, set for you. Like, Let's do this shit right here. No, no, no jump of water. Home water. What what y'all put in? It's just a sticker. It's just a sticker. <laughs> nah, it's that pussy water over there. Yeah, I still don't know about the pussy water. Oh, <laughs> That's some other shit. <laughs> So you got, uh, I seen you said you got cousins that stay over here in 757 and shit. Or you got like yeah. a cousin. Yeah, and a lot, a lot, a lot of our family. <laughs> like, look, I got a, I just did that Boss Man D-Lo remix, man. It's called Friendly Reunion. Be on, like, I just dropped it. I ain't do a video. I just dropped it. That's on the audio. mic. That shit that you want to shoot. That shit on the mic. I think it could. That shit crazy, though, you feel me? I said, I said some shit in there about, like, I said a lot about that for real, you feel me? My daddy family, my father family, his family just huge. You feel me? Like it's he got over ten, over ten, eleven kids, you feel me? Yeah, you said my people the ops, I can't even see my daughter and shit on one of the songs. Yeah, see that right there, that's like see my look, my blood cousins is from the enemy, the other side, you feel me? And the girl I I end up having my first kid with, she grew up with them and they decide, like, you feel me? So that's what that, that's that's I was rapping like I was being creative with my situation I'm living like that's what yeah. I do it out with my with my craft like if you really like you said if you check me out I'm really I'm I ain't you, just you ain't just you really I'm like you really can nice tell that you really rapping type shit look, and what's crazy is cuz it's some life shit for real ain't just me making art you feel me like like I'm an artist but I ain't just stepping in the room like man I'm trying to be creative like I'm going through some shit and if and, and and then like I find a way to to put it like this in the in this song like this. Like I be going through this shit for real. I ain't lying. Like in the song I said, I, I said, my daddy known all through the low end, cause he got about 30 children. I got brothers from the other side, free quantity, he a jigger. Like, you feel me? These the real like these niggas that probably see me and try to do something to me, like, cause they grew up on the other side. And he one of them for real, like, but this is my daddy's son. Call me, getting some money from me right now. Like, I just sent I just sent him some money not too long ago. He called me. He, he going to get it, you feel me? Like, it's my brother. Like, like you feel me? <coughs> Grew up with me, like, in, my, in the household, like a brother, too. Like, you know, just know my daddy got a lot of kids. I got an op-ass brother for real. That's what it is. Like, he done. It's, an, it's, it's, it's people with me right now had altercations with him when I went around. Could have been deadly, life or death. Like, it's my little brother, though. So niggas get, yeah. like, a pass, because, like... If he with me, if he... I'm going to keep it all the way real. Like, you know, I look to, he know this. That's why he don't be around me a lot. Yeah. Like, it ain't me. Like, but you chose some shit, like, because he used to be around me. Like, with my, with them. He used to be in our hood with us. Represent what we represent. Like, not saying he from Wells Russ, not so, so I see none of that shit. He just, like... Man, he was running around with us deep. Fighting and doing all type of shit in my neighborhood. It's my little brother living at coming to my mama crib for weeks and shit. Like it's my real little brother, hanging with my guys. That shit with it's just he got another big brother that ain't from my daddy. That's from over there. And since you know how it is, like yo yo, you close to your mama kids than you is with your dick. You know, yeah. like just off how they raise motherfucker in our in our communities. You feel me? Like just how it is. You feel me? Like so he was closer to that brother that was a op. Which I'm close to him too, low key. He's like his stepbrother in the way. He my brother, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, basically. You feel me? But this is my daddy's son, though. You know? But his brother, kind of brother to me too. He, he, he from over there. But I ain't. I've been in situations in jail, 
where one of my close homies, like, feel me, trying to get down on him, and I'm, no, that's, that's my little brother, brother. And we kind of close like brothers, too, so, nah. But that's the reality of my damn si my situation, though. I got cousins. I got real blood brothers who grew up in the crib with me. Real cousins. And I got uncles that'll push that button on my little, you know what I mean? That'll, are oh, you, 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 you want to send it up with me on some, like, family reunion shit went on, like, like, I was in jail. It was this one time I was in jail. I even said it in a song, like, I wish I was that so bad that I put together, like, a, like a little storyline to how, like, if I was there, how I'd go. How would have played out? You feel me? Like, I went that bitch went so crazy. Y'all just the thought of, man, he tried to pull that with bro at the family reunion game. Like, how crazy, though. Like, my, my real father in here, his mama right here. I'll tell you. Feel me? Her sister's right here. Now, a uh, generation down. My daddy right here. His sister's right here. His kid, now, generation down. Me and all his 13, 12 kids right here. My mama about pull up and, hey, y'all, I see y'all. Uh, it's a family reunion, for real. My last name. Your last name, my last name. Why would you put these people? Because if I call them goons, if I call bro them on our uh, family, they ain't, that's bogus to say, man, but I'm going to keep this shit a hundred. If I call bro them on some, like, anything, it don't matter who it is. It don't matter. Like, it don't matter. My daddy could be. Stomping me out like as a kid, like and Bronin would have been walking past our crib. And they ain't saying I would have wanted Bronin to do nothing crazy to my daddy or nothing, but well, we 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 tight like this, like like we they probably wouldn't. I don't know. I was gonna beat that nigga up and nothing like that, but Bronin would have been sitting like like Saudi, like whoa, what's going? Hey, what are we supposed to be doing? Waiting on me to say like like yeah something, but I probably wouldn't. I probably sit there and get my ass whooped by my pops. You feel me? But like. My, if I call my niggas on at this family reunion and say, oh, we don't care that they are cousins, y'all. Man, they gonna do what they wanna do right here for real. And we the most, we the aggressors in the situation, like, for real. My cousin's soft. Like, that's why I come here, I come, I'm like, it ain't, if it was, if it was a, if it was really, really, really an issue with them as though, like, I say that, but it, that, it, they ass not, my cousin's just from, from that side. But they don't really put some shit though. Like, try to, Get bro done it out the way, like, on some, at the family reunion. Damn. And I be trying to tell bro, like, man, like, that's why me, I'm, I'm a, I ain't, look, they say I'm paranoid. I said that in a song, too, like, there's real shit. Like, I got a song where I'm singing, like, and not just rapping, I'm singing, too. It's coming out soon. And I was saying, like, in the song, like, when me and my niggas in the trap, feel me, I'm in a, like, it can't be nothing but the guys when you knock at the back. But just move with caution, because that's body in the dark with strap. He waiting for something to shake, he paranoid, that's what they say. But he don't care about what they say. I mean, that's, that's real shit came from my, my, my life happening, like shit happening. I'm really in the dark, like in the trap, like the spot I'm talking about is really one of the guys' crib, man. We safe for sale. Somebody knock at that back door, it's definitely gotta be one of us. Don't nobody finna come through that dead end little space and be stuck right there trying to knock at nobody, they'll play with us. And, you know, for how you think you set it up on the outside, that's dangerous for you. And people scatter us like a motherfucker. So ain't nobody pulling it. So me, I shouldn't be at the back door thinking every time somebody knock, run to the back door to that. make sure. But I do that. And it never fails. <laughs> it's a nigga knocking at the back door. And he probably already halfway there. I done slid past him with the look at myself. Oh. Walk back past. Chew on, bro. Ain't nobody questioning that or nothing. That's just how I move. You feel me? All right, now, Phyllis. So, any music you working on, or what you got? What you got going for the rest of the year? Are you putting out an EP? Yeah, see, I just put together a mixtape and an EP. I'm just working out the, like how I'm about to drop one of them. You feel me? Like, you got the name of it? Yeah. What's the name of it? So the people. The EP. The the the, e, the um the mixtape is called the Villain, the bad guy in the movie. You feel me? Cause where I'm from, we like in all the songs I'm talking about how like. Where I'm from, the bad guy ain't really, like, in the movies and shit, ain't always bad. Like, if you really watch the movies and shit, never like, it always, be, bad guys. Like, it always yeah. be some shit like, well. A motherfucker like, was minding somebody else's business. Like, you seen The Joker? Like, it's a it's a, it's a a TV show about The Joker on Netflix. It's cold. Like, if you probably checked it out or not, y'all should check it out. It's decent. He was like a, like, he was, he was, he was, uh, 
I can't think of the words I'm looking for, but in the beginning he was like a bus boy. He was he was he was washing dishes and shit, getting pushed over and shit. Mm -hmm. Feel me like getting smacked around and shit, getting right. robbed and yeah, I seen this. And and, and and where I'm from and shit, like we used to be like we don't come from no money or like a lot, a lot. You feel me? So I used to come to school sometimes. Like OG them had that money though. Low key, my mom and them, my parents. We at, it was time I'm like well we was like over straight, but I was bad so I go on punishment. I miss out on the gifts like. Like so, I come to school with my with my busted ass shoes, looking like fucked up. Then Snoop, I don't know the situation, but bro, OG them probably ain't got it. So OG had it. Feel me? If they did, <laughs> if they, if, 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 I'm just using you yeah, as an right example. You know, like, but I'm saying like, cause we all used to get fresh shit. Like niggas want just yeah. straight bums, but we don't come from no bread. Like, you know, like no, no super bags. Like, you know, like niggas in my hoods got to them bags. But when we were shorties, I'm talking about like growing up when I learned how I feel about my brother, we ain't had shit, you feel me? That's, that's basically what I'm saying. Like, so we did, dude, we could, you feel me? We ended up straight though, you feel me? But um, bro, I was the one coming to school with the fucked up clothes sometimes though, and people try to play with us, like, you feel me? And I was smaller than, like, you was, you weren't always the big, we weren't bigger than people, and we just the heart, you feel me? This shit came from people playing with us, like, like we ain't no devilish ass people, like, and it learned, and it come like that with a lot of villains in the movies. Like mm -hmm. think about it. Like really watch the movies and see where it started, what happened with that villain. And that's the name of the EP. You uh, mean it's called the villain? The villain. Uh, where right. I'm from. That's what that's about. Like the bad guy in the movie. Like they don't like us now. They hate us now. Like you no, know, they 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 look at us like you the you the you the devil you the devil. But bro got kids and he a, a spectacular father right here. What how I be seeing on the daily? What I see on the daily? With dude, like. I see bro, we like, right now we on the, we, right now we doing shit like brothers road trips, like right now me and bro and them just, that's the bros, no hoes. Just us on the road, driving from all the way to the trenches, the rack, all the way to no jumper to get up with y'all, you feel me? And a, and a sprinter van, you feel me, that, that that came out of our pockets, ain't no, ain't nothing look back at us, nothing like that, it's us doing us. Mm. Every little piece of it, the guys, all that, coming out of our pockets just to be like, hey, Cause if we can get on the plane and, <laughs> and fly that little shit, right? Yeah, but yeah. this something we could do as brothers, like like a family. This is what families do. Make it to where we make it. This is what families do. We could we could really show you, like with, with what's going on in our life that we ain't even no treacherous. That we ain't even the devil. You feel me? Like we really love each other and everything. Like you feel me? Arguing about who finna drive all these hours, bro. They just, <laughs> we just drove twenty seven on. First they had to drive from one spot in the rack to where I'm at. And then drive 22 hours from there. Like, you feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm putting my hands on the wheel myself. So just I'm saying, we're coming through the mountains, all that. Like, and we ain't taking a scary route. Like, we, we on some, we trying to see some shit. Like, we, that's what we doing. Right. Like, we came through the mountains, you feel me? Right, right. As a brother, as a family, <laughs> on some family shit, just to be on some exciting, crazy. We got the route that we can go well. It ain't that bad. We came through that shit on purpose. Like, trying to see something, you feel Is me? Is y'all first time in Cali? Yeah. Game, like, that's love. That's dope, though. For sure. So for the people who ain't never like heard any of your music, like what, what they need to check out to get in tune with what you got going on, and where yeah. can they find you too? Depending on what type of shit you fuck with, but yeah, I can tell you all that one. shit. They gotta go from the old to, into the new. Yeah, so like, understand like, better. Before any attention was on me and shit, I dropped two mix. I dropped two mixtapes. One of them called Treacherous Activity One. The next, the, I mean, it's not it's called just Treacherous Activity. The other one is Treacherous Activity Two. You feel me? Like if you go back to that body. You would get an idea like what my craft really like, like, like it ain't just no, like you, like you say, you, you I mean you can check me out now and see what I'm doing now, and see the same. But like, that's some that's some shit where a person like him would be like, yeah, that's that's vintage right there. That's that's that. I could still go to that now. Like, like how you could probably play some Biggie today and be like, yeah, I still bump to that. I like that. That old shit. Like, like that shit hot like that. That's like that shit like that with him. Like he probably been a come in the room, he playing some shit out. I mean, that shit so old, I don't wanna hear that shit. Like, I got too much new shit, like a lot of new shit. Like, right. you listening to some shit from three, four years ago, like, but if you go check it out, you will see why. You know what I'm I don't really like that with this rap shit. So I'm rapping my life for real, too, like. So everybody need to be ready for the villain when it drop. Yeah. They need to go listen to that old shit, too. They need to listen yeah, to that old Y'all go check out uh, Treacherous 1 and Part 2, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Y'all got anything else to tell the people before we get up out of here? Hey. On some real shit, man. Like, I fuck with y'all platform. You feel me? Appreciate y'all having me through here and everything. You feel me? Appreciate that. But Adam, 
And you're you're a great communicator. You got a, a, a you have a lot to say. Yeah, you feel me? I'm, look, I, I kind of just here, sat back look, and just let you I go. I came here telling Bruno I was gonna be open with y'all about you feel me how we coming like uh, I like I really fuck with how y'all coming shit. And at the same time, you feel me? I felt like I wanted to have some type of control about how we talking about shit right here. You feel me? Cause, cause I I know you heard now you watching you feel me? Shit get a little a little crazy. Yeah, with you. On here? <laughs> yeah, you 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 be saying some shit. I be like, hello. Uh, Speaking uh, of I fuck shit. with him like we I made fuck it through with the whole pod without saying anything you. gay. I'll fuck. We don't play that type of shit though. You guys yeah, don't like that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah like, you we gotta do that there. with the people. Hey, you see that how look? You, you see how you you see how you get that? What you guys want to say before we get up out of here? Like, yeah, yeah. I was basically saying like. I, I carry it like what you said, like how I communicated and got a lot to say. I wanted to control shit like that. Like, feel you, I came, like, no, like, and y'all I came really, with another Remo too. Yeah, that shit ain't. Oh, really? That shit yeah. ain't really. Big Remo over there. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but, you tap but, in. but not just like shit yeah, like that. Like, yeah, I ain't that's what I you funny for saying that. You feel me? But Lil Rose Royce Remo. Uh, look, you funny for, for that and shit. I uh, really don't. Not really where we come from, but 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 look, not that though. Like like just like yeah. how you carry yourself in this shit. Like I fuck with it. Like and it could get like super interesting with you and shit. Like you feel me? Yeah. You been to ask some shit and the motherfucker be sitting there like like damn. Like he he been to know some shit. Like you feel me? Like. Hey man, like, I speak shit. for the people. I want to yeah. ask people the shit that they want to know. And you ain't ducking your taco, you feel me? Like, you you, you going to speak your mind, you feel me? And we're not Type picking and choosing either. Like, Type we let everybody come, you know what I'm saying, voice their opinion and shit. Mm-hmm. That way. Yeah, if it show that. Yeah, and everybody uh, go tune in with the music because you've definitely been going crazy. Yeah, man, they ain't going to lie. Me and Tay got some shit coming, too. Real I was going to say, I feel like Tay kind of, like, motiv- started motivating you at a certain point. Yeah, see, I'm, I mean... I've been fucking with this shit for a minute. It's just, you know, like, where we from, like, we the underdogs and this shit, the villain, the bad guy in the movie. Like, you feel me? So, like, but if you check me out, I've been, like, like, it's been times I, I was so consistent. I was going real hard. I, I wasn't seeing what I thought I was supposed to see. I just didn't let go of myself. I, I really pushed bro to get in this shit for real. Mm. Like, he, he had his own ideas to be, like, like, how he approached this shit or whatever, like, but I know me telling him how I feel and, why he was locked up and getting them the outlook on what's going on out here and how you could take advantage of this and you feel me because of the type of person you is you feel me you ain't a bad type you feel me? you're a good person for you feel me you could get in this shit that people like you already now you get up here rapping and they like that too and then you got the background to match what what else it would just be dumb as hell if he didn't get out here and, and, and do what he gotta do Feel me? Utilize the shit. Yeah, like, and it's genuine, it's, it's authentic, it's right, it ain't no shit he put together, like, it's really just how life fell in, in place. Feel me, like, living this life, you lose your best friend and shit, so much shit going on, you then you go to jail and shit, get out. You gotta make Beat the them cases and shit, you gotta shit. make the best of your situation. For sure. Right. For sure. All right, appreciate you, man. And uh, everybody tune in. Turn them up on all streaming platforms and social media. Uh, Thank you very much to Remo for setting this up. All right. No jumper. Show that. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, Instagram. Like, comment, and subscribe. Nojumper.com if you want to support. We out.